Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Donkey Kong 64. I'm Bill. This channel is called Good Old Days Gaming. None of that means a thing. But now we are in Frantic Factory, one of my favorite stages in this whole game. Because of this dude right here, Chunky. Finally, we're getting our fifth and final Kong. Chunky doesn't like heights. Yeah, I just think this is a fantastic level. It's just so well designed with the five Kongs in mind. Better than the previous two levels for sure because it knows that this is the first time you're gonna have everybody. Oh, I should've came in here with DK apparently with all those yellow bananas leading to the only path open at the moment. And that's one of the reasons why I like this thing because it's a, a factory, of course. And you're, you kind of have an objective the whole time. You have to open everything up and kick on all the machinery. And it's the most objective base out of all of them. And this is the part of the song I love. We need tiny. Controller, could you please let me drop down? Yeah, I just love this, man. It's such a chorusy part of this music. Yeah, those guys only die with oranges. Production room, oh yes. Music change. This is so awesome. It's like Fear Factory, but in 3D. And you get actually get to explore the full factory. I love how there's just a map everywhere. There's the storage room. That's where Chunky is. But I want to grab this stuff with Diddy real quick. And his blueprint, apparently. Have some oranges. Ah, oh, I should have threw one more. Still got the blueprint. Yeah, I like that little map that shows you where you are in the factory. This room is crazy, but we have to get an ability with DK and turn all the machinery on. And you know how I like to turn on machines. Storage room, let me in, I gotta see Chunky. I think I was way off on the music. That's okay, though. Uh, the one, okay. So Chunky is right up there. We need DK, apparently. And Lanky, I saw some stuff. I'll get Lanky's junk first. What does this do? Is this what frees Chunky? I can't remember. No, that's way back in the beginning. Okay, well that's open now, and apparently we should take Tiny that way. We will do that, but first... <laughs> oh yes, Cranky and Candy in the same area. Yep, we gotta get all of our new abilities, and we should have plenty of coins with everybody. So, let's we'll start with Lanky. We got him. I forget what he gets. Oh, I know what he gets in this one. He gets this little balloon thing where he farts out and puffs up. What's it called? Baboon Balloon. Baboonus Balloonus. I don't really think this ability is utilized too much in the game. Actually, none of the pad abilities are. Oblong! Who do we want? We want Tiny Kong, of course, because Ponytail Twirl is her best move, and this is when she gets it. Roundum Roundus. <laughs> oh man, I'm not looking forward to the boss of this level, though. He's probably one of the harder ones in the whole game. Kid Memory says so. I don't know how it's going to be revisiting it. DK balloon, apparently. So, let's get Diddy first, and then we'll take DK, since we got some bananas to pick up anyway. Although, that's a lot of backtracking. I don't know what I want to do first. Wow, 23 coins! What the heck have I been doing with Diddy? Simeon Spring, Lepus Largium. That's what I was thinking of in that first temple we entered. I thought... I forgot that you learned it here. Alright, that is hugely important. We can get pretty much most of the bananas now in this uh, level. Now let's get DK. Oh, his move is in incredibly important too. This is where he learns that lever pulling move. Where is that balloon? Oh, I'm terrible. There we go. Who needs ammo? Oh no. You know what this reminded me of? The DK Arcade Machine is in here. Gorilla Grab, Simium Strainus. <laughs> 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 
All right, now we gotta get Chunky and get him some stuff. So we got some shopping to do, apparently. It's a little bit slow, but it's enjoyable. I always like seeing what new moves you get. And even though I know, it's been a while, so I kind of forget. Chunky, I'm coming for you, man. And you are gonna be our main Kong. Hopefully this is what does it, I can't remember. There is no main Kong. I just tend to pick Chunky first in most stages. Oh, okay, this is gonna put me in a loop, I guess, and we're supposed to aim for the ring. All right, what does that do? Does that free Chunky? No, oh no, there it is. The horrors of that machine, dude. Zero lives and you have to beat it twice. Grab some bananas and then... I think I remember how to get chunky. We need lanky. Yeah. Ah, uh, screw this. That's too much backtracking for right now. We'll back. We'll be back by the beginning soon enough. Let's get lanky. Do do do. Bum. Ba ba bum. Do do do. Wow. <laughs> I love how happy he is all the time. Surely this is what gets chunky. Yes! Yes! Hey! I love Chunky, man. He's so much better than the rest of the Kongs. I mean, they're all good. How could you say that? The problem with having a favorite. Alright, we got one banana. Two banana, three banana, four. Let's get chunky, let's do it. Oh, we gotta listen to this. <laughs> I love this. It's like, hey, you, uh, uh. Contradictory much? Uh, oh, yes. You tell him, Chunky, audio catch up, please. Thank you. Arr, what else can he do? <laughs> he has a backflip. So angry, and yet so happy at the same time. <laughs> I love that jump, too. <laughs> uh, we got some coins. What's more important? Definitely cranky. We gotta get that punch. Is that the first thing he learns? Oh yeah, we have ten because of the rainbow coin that I picked up earlier. So he started with five. Hunky chunky. Fremlinus, what did it say? I didn't have time to read it. I'm a slow reader. <laughs> oh, I love chunky. Reggie. Did you eat your chunky soup? Oh, primate punch. Sandwich him knuckles. That's a good move. <laughs> Actually, I think his first banana is right down the hall by the tag barrel we've been using. So we'll go grab it. But yeah, going back to the level design that I was talking about before. Um, there's another stage that's similar to this. And actually more so, it's a stage that I think, if I'm getting this correctly, if whatever I read that told me this is true, there's a stage later on that was meant to be for one of the Banjo games. Maybe Tui? Uh, yeah, it was supposed to be in Banjo-Tooie, but they put it in this game. And it's basically a centralized hub. Another uh, rainbow coin there. Yeah, it's a central hub with various branching paths, and through those paths are different scenarios to get the golden bananas. And that's the kind of design I love. And this factory is similar in a way, but it's a little bit different because you're exploring the different rooms. And it's just so much more interesting than the prior levels we were in. You know, I think I did this backwards. I think I should have punched the switch last, because these are timed, if I remember correctly. Please grab the bunch of bananas. It didn't work. Stop saying that. I missed. All right, well, we should get it this time. Yeah, already, though, two bananas. In a matter of, like, less than 10 minutes or something? 
compared to Angry Acid, where you're just goofing around in the sand for nine years. I don't know, I think a lot of people don't like this level so much. Because it is a little spooky, you know? Like, the music is kind of... It has, like, a creepy vibe to it. Uh, what do we want to do now? Let's get tiny, because I believe... Yeah, I thought I saw that out of the corner of my eye before. I forget where all those pathways lead. There's so many of these little poles. So we've seen the production room. We're in the storage room. I know there's like an R&D area. Okay, so we need to bring Chunky. Diddy just for bananas. Oh no, the arcade machine. I'm gonna save that for like the very end of this entire thing. There we go. Let's grab this. Thankfully, they let you know, kind of, by placing stuff like tiny, Tiny's coins and her blueprint people. They know you're gonna go down that hallway with Tiny, right? And they're, you're gonna probably climb up the thing with Tiny. And it would be such a waste to come all the way up here with her, only to realize there's nothing for her. So at least they were kind enough to put a puzzle and a pretty easy banana. Three bananas! In probably like ten minutes or so. I don't know, that's the kind of stuff I like. like. You don't waste time. It's just good stuff. Whoops, I went the wrong way. I'm trying to get the chunky. <laughs> well, how scared he gets. Let's go up there and smash that gate that we saw. That's probably another quick banana. Four bananas in less than 15 minutes, I bet you. Well, I don't know. I don't know what's beyond the gate. We're about to find out. Smash the gate. Lots of coins and a barrel. That might suck or it might be okay. Whatever, let's see. Is it going to be good? Is it going to be hard? What is Welcome this? Welcome to bonus day. Stash snatch. Boom, 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 boom. Get the coins, okay. Well, at least the music's playing. Didn't do that for that fly swatting one. I remember as a kid doing these particular ones and these little rat maze type things. I used to get them all on the first try. Seemed to be doing all right. I chose correctly, but I, like, I have no memory of this stuff. I guess I just had really good dumb luck as a kid or something. Or maybe I'm remembering it improperly. Yeah, this probably hasn't even been 15 minutes long, man. And we have... Four bananas. Alright, let's go get Chunky's instrument from Candy. You know, on my way back to this tag barrel, I saw some coins. Red coins for Diddy, so I want to grab them real quick before I forget. It looks like they were just by themselves up here. Yeah. I don't really see anything else of importance in here. Okay, back to what we were doing. Chunky's triangle. <laughs> Stuff is just exploding. Yeah, I don't know. I guess today Chunky would be kind of a trite character, right? He's just the big, lovable dope. You would think he would be some big, tough, mean dude, but he's just a softy. How many other... Wow, I dodged that punch barely. But yeah, how many other times have we seen that? I also think people are too much of a critic these days with everything. <laughs> it's still good stuff. Alright, here we are back in the beginning with Tiny. I'm gonna follow her banana trail to that door that we opened up before. Snide's HQ is in there. I forget how you get in there. I also don't remember what's up here. It's like I remember all the rooms as I see them, but I don't remember where these pathways lead to. Testing department. Mm, those things. Wait, what's over? Hmm. Well, we'll follow her banana trail first, I suppose. Oh yes, the toy block room. Uh, blueprint chunky, or chunky blueprint rather. 
Whoa, what is happening to Tiny's model? I do remember this over here is a tag barrel and something for Lanky. But let's do this first. Like I said, I did watch Nintendo Capri Sun's Let's Play of this fairly recently before starting this myself, so some of the stuff I recognize more than I would have had I not watched that. I like this mini game back here. It's like a little dartboard thing. It looks like a restaurant menu made out of chalk. What is going on with Tiny's ponytails? Yeah, this is pretty self-explanatory. It tells you which one to hit next, and it speeds up a little bit. I feel like I'm not talking about anything interesting this time. I always get conflicted with that. Sometimes there's stuff to explain, and I start doing that, and other times I get too much out of the game, and I'm talking about stuff that doesn't even... Whoops. Well, that never happens. I don't see it. Like, this is easy. How am I screwing this up? I'm getting frustrated with myself again. That's not good, man. Okay, you ready? All right. I don't know, I feel like I'm so easily manipulated sometimes by music. But this song kind of has a very mellow, spooky... Oh, look at that, there is a funky. So we can get chunky all squared away. But yeah, now I can feel it. I feel it crashing. This is how I felt like last Wednesday, which by the time this video goes up, that's not going to mean a thing. That might be like 800 Wednesdays ago. <laughs> But I was on a roll, I was doing like so good in life and my job and everything. Like for three months straight. I'm getting Lanky's thing next here. And then like just random Wednesday happened and I just felt it. It's like a sore throat creeping up. Is, did I explain this already? I don't know. <laughs> this ability is ridiculous. I love the woohoo that as soon as he takes off. What do we have this time? Welcome to bonus stage. Oh, the slot machine, okay. I used to be so good at this. What? No music. It's starting to annoy me. This thing actually sounds a little irritating without the music. I never even noticed it made a sound before. At least it's not hard. I know it gets a lot faster and harder in the later stages, just like all of these barrel games. Well Alright, I think there's something for Diddy on the main set of blocks in the central part of the room. So we'll do that next. That R&D area is pretty interesting too. It's another really cool section of the thing, but let's stay focused on where we are right now. But yeah, to finish what I was saying before, is like, with depression stuff, it just kind of creeps up like a sore throat, and I might have made this analogy in a previous part already, I can't remember. Or maybe I'm just remembering saying this to my counselor, I don't know. But you know, with a sore throat... It starts to creep up and you kind of have that, ah, crap, what's going on, feeling, you, you notice it's just not right. It doesn't hurt, it might be a little scratchy, but you know it's coming, so you start taking all kinds of stuff to prevent it, but it's already taken hold and it's going to run its course, and then it comes into full blown and everything sucks, and you start taking medicine for it, everything that says remedy on it and relief, but it doesn't matter because it's it's got to run its course. Welcome to bonus Oh yes, yeah, so you gotta guide the fairy and make sure it, it doesn't get eaten. But anyway, that's my analogy for depression. It just kind of creeps up like a sore throat, and I just, I feel it happening, kind of. It's stupid. I, it could just be, like I said, easily manipulated by every, every day you get tired, right? You have to go to bed. And as you get tired, your body physically depresses itself, like... There's no need to be all amped up when you're about to go to sleep. That was really easy. <laughs> they do get ridiculous, though. As I've said multiple times, I'm just repeating myself. See, stuff like that, just like, stupid commentary that instantly annoys me.
beginning the downward spiral into madness. Splat. I don't know, it's annoying. Like, I feel like just half an hour ago I was goofing around and now all of a sudden I'm like mellowing out. It's annoying me. That's probably why I try to drink so much caffeine to stay up. That's another thing. It's related to a, it's similar to a caffeine crash. And maybe that's all it is. But it's not, obviously. Anyway, let's get Chunky's gun. And Tiny has a balloon and there's a fairy. So that's good. <laughs> Love the pineapple launcher too. It makes a cool sound. What? There's another thing. An ammo belt for all. Oh, increased ammo already. I didn't know it was th this early in the game. I think there's homing bullets too later on, but that's probably not for a while. I don't remember what level you get that in. But that's something too with the depression stuff. When you, I get re-excited about games like this one, it helps a little bit. It helps me stay focused on something that's entertaining and interesting. Doing pretty good snapping these pictures of the fairies too. Sometimes they scatter all over and it takes like nine years to get the picture. Boy. <laughs> I like Tommy Boy too, Lanky. One of my favorite movies. I miss Chris Farley. He's a figure. Him and Robin Williams. Like it always kind of surprises me that people are surprised when they hear about their underlying depression and stuff. Like both of those guys, you can see it in how they behave. They act goofy and funny to kind of cover the deeper stuff with a blanket, you know? And I feel like me, I just have this weird ability of reading right through it. Like I always watched Chris Farley and Robin Williams and knew that they were not happy on the inside. And I mean, I feel like it's not that, like, hidden. I feel like a lot of people could see it. It's not like I have this crazy ability where I'm like, oh yeah, only I can see when people are depressed. It's like, no. <laughs> I love this song, he's dancing with Chunky. Oh, I thought I had it. His back was turned to it. I don't know, but then again, I can't really say that that's how they were, because they probably were happy a lot of times, especially Robin Williams. I feel like he was more... Like, his thing was kind of more shocking, and I don't even know if we know the full story. And Chris Farley, well... He was just using substances and stuff... to blanket his inner sadness, and it got the best of him. So him, like, I don't know if he would be a guy that would would have gone so far down otherwise to commit suicide or something like that. I don't really know if he would have done that. Anyway, why are we talking about all this crazy stuff? We're at Snide's. We have a bunch of blueprints, don't we? Diddy, I think, has two. From the former level, and uh, the one we picked up early on as soon as we came down here. On the way to Chunky's Cage. Let's see what the animation is for this stage. It's a finger! What is it going into? Oh, boo! That's not exciting. <laughs> I've got issues. Two bananas. I'll probably save the other Kongs. I know we have other blueprints, but this takes a while. And I'll probably end up like cutting it out and stuff. But there's more to this factory that we could do right now. I don't know. There were some coins up here for Diddy. Let's grab those. Oh, the sound. This donkey, I saw a uh, pathway full of coins. 
And bananas or something. Where was that? The steps over here. I don't know what is up with this room, but it's messing up everybody. I guess, is that what polygon tearing is? Because that's what I keep calling it. Only because it says on the emulator that this ROM has an issue with that. That's not the thing. That's funky. What am I doing? I saw a thing with bananas in it. Where was it? Is it this one? I don't want to go into R&D yet. That's gonna, probably going to be its own video next time. Because that's a whole section of the factory in itself. There's still the big production room, too. We haven't turned that thing on yet. Get over here. Yeah, Tiny's not the only one who could take these pictures. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, sometimes this takes forever. Got it, okay, she got stuck in the ceiling. That helps, thank you. Even seeing that little instant Polaroid development film kind of fills me with like a sadness. It's stupid, why am I so easy, easily manipulated by my environment? It's like the bittersweetness of nostalgia. Why is the bitter part more powerful than the sweet? This is a dumb puzzle. You just ground pound to 16 in chronological order. I mean, it's still somewhat amusing, I guess. You're still playing a video game. Yeah, I don't know. Life is crazy, man. I feel like everybody has some kind of a issue they're hiding and that's one thing about the world that I don't like is it almost seems like everybody acts like it's taboo to talk about weakness and to show your feelings or like talk about depression like if you talk about depression and anxiety and stuff it's just because you're weak and I don't know you're looking for attention or something just like how you can't talk about your salary after a certain age it's and like on social media and stuff like I don't even use social media at all even though technically this is but everybody paints a lie to make their life look better and I always did the opposite when I had a Facebook I was one of those people who always posted about how the world sucks and all this stuff like not that but sometimes but like, I'm, my dad always said, don't air out your dirty laundry. And to an extent, I understand that. Like, the world doesn't need to know all of your private stuff. Apparently, we are entering R&D. Yeah, this area of the factory is so cool. And apparently, Lanky's our main dude. But yeah, each room, check this out. Each room has a instrument pad for each Kong. So there's like a little puzzle chamber. This is really cool. Just separate little testing facilities. I don't know where I'm going, to be honest. I don't know what's down this hole. Dude, really? Um, I should have came down. Oh no, okay. It wasn't a wasted trip, apparently. I had no idea. What is this? Yeah, I don't know, everybody, like, don't air out your dirty laundry or whatever, and yeah, that makes sense, but at the same time, I don't feel like you need to hide all of your failure and stuff and act like you have this perfect life that you don't have. What did that do? I always like things like this in game that make it look like something's starting up. Oh, it's the big room! Sweet! Well, that's probably going to be the start of next episode. There's a lot, and this room is one of the highlighting features of, like, talking about a centralized chamber. This is it, and there's something for every Kong. It's just great design, in my opinion. I could see how it would be irritating if, like, you miss a jump and fall all the way down. And apparently we got a banana for that. Look at that! Two for everybody! This has been a fast level. And it's, like, I think the best parts are coming up. But I know we're definitely getting up there, so we'll probably be ending things off quite shortly here. Oh no. 
before we get any further, let's step outside, actually, because there's something in the lobby we could do with our cranky abilities that we just learned. That'd be a good way to end it off, just grab the stuff that's in here, and then next time go deeper into the factory. I think this is a banana, and there's something for Chunky in the corner, too, a crate he could smash. I don't remember what's inside it, though. A banana! I think this counts as a DK Isle banana, not the factory. Those wrinkly Kong doors, she gives you a hint on a banana in each stage for each Kong, but I think it's only one hint every time it's the same one. So really she only tells you how to get one banana. What the heck? Uh, that's Tiny and a fairy. Okay, we'll grab Tiny then. Uh -uh. Anyway, I think I'm gonna take a break after this. And try to not have such negative commentary next time. I don't know what happened. Alright, fairy. Jeez, that one was giving me some trouble. I'll probably edit that down. Anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. And next time we will go deeper into the factory, and I think the next rooms are definitely a lot of fun. So I'll see you then, and hopefully be more chipper.